Okay, let me explain how to use the map box. Uh, map box is pretty uh, simple and uh, in intuitive to use. However, still you need to memorize some of the shortcuts. Uh, hit the B key to uh, change size of your brush. And uh, hit the M key to change the intensity of your brush. So let me decrease my brush size like so. And uh, hit all key and uh, use the I'm using Wacom pen. So I'm drawing and uh, hit all key, you can rotate your hand model. Let me um, do some pinch. I can check this invert function and uh, use this bulge brush. As you can see now, right now it's the intensity are still too high, so let me decrease it to a proper value. Um, my PC is not very fast and uh, while we are doing recording it's using some of the real source so you can see it's quite uh, sluggish but still this is just a demonstration you can feel how it works I'm just some of the detail okay. and check this inverse function now I'm trying to add some bumpness to this how do you say that Ice bucket. Sorry, too much. Just make it look a little bit. <clears throat> so we can go it here, turn on the invert function and uh, add in some detail. As you can see now, right now the all the cuts are pretty um, jagged and not very smooth. You can use a function known as uh, smooth, or you can uh, pen while you hit the shift button. So I can use bulge and uh, pen with the shift key. So I can smooth out those cards while keeping the detail. Smooth, smooth. 
comes out hit shift key and uh, smooth those area you just cut just try to smooth out those area and um, let me add some more wrinkle around here um, resize my brush Again, smooth out those um, wrinkle area. moves out. As you can see I am not using um, the brown box is very powerful and with so many function but for me I only use uh, a few number of the function. I only use uh, bulge and the smooth. Uh, those two functions are enough for me to add in detail of this uh, CSI Jimbus hand. I'm sorry for my computer, my machine is very slow, so uh, might not very good for recording, but you see the idea. Okay, once you once you finish your sculpting in uh, my box, uh, you can have a result like like this one. Um, Exactly the same way. I only use a bulge and a invert function and a smooth out function. I only use these two kind of brush. I didn't use other like smear stem, move to other stuff. I never use that. Okay. Uh, so now it's time for us to create normal map for our head model. Uh, go to utility texture bedding and uh, new operation okay pop out this di uh, Baker dialog and uh, you can select your re low resolution mesh of course use the default level 0 face 2208 and uh, select your high resolution mesh uh, object default three levels and uh, subdivision you can say your subdivision type type I I use it as leave it as default and um, uh, normal map displacement found in you can uh, decide where to export those normal map. Let me choose my output path to object Jimbus tutorial and then it's to uh, normal map. Also, you can set your displacement map. Okay, type to okay. Let me go. He start. 
this will take some time to generate the normal map from uh, it will project high res resolution match to low resolution and generate a colorful map known as normal map which containing uh, normal vector information in a 2D map to enhance detail to your low resolution head model while making it looks like a high resolution version of the head model. So um, once we, we finish our sculpting, now it's time to move on to the next step, Mobox to 3ds Max. We will make a realistic human skin um, SSS uh, material, uh, subsurface scattering material for our head model to create skin. And uh, before we um, start to create the uh, texture for it, let me explain some of the concept. Uh, because we are we are going to create a subsurface scattering material, it is important to um, set our hand size correct. Uh, a normal human hand size high is about uh, 60 centimeters. So make sure your head model is within the normal range. So your parameter will be same as my material settings. Okay. So let's import our head model generated by Facebox. Import and uh, set the type to OBJ. Okay. Okay, import our head model. And uh, let's check its size. Uh, no units. Let's set our unit setup to um, centimeter. Okay. So the size is correct. It is not enormous, cannot kilometer huge hand. It's within the normal size of our head model. So when setting the SSS material will be easier. Okay. And uh, let's apply some simple material. Before we do that, I want to switch my render from default scanner render to 3x max uh, to final render. Okay. Default is scanner and right now I'm using final render so that's fine. Turn on my uh, sky. Okay. And I'll uh, set my Cosy Monte um semi adaptive cosy Monte Carlo to low will be fine. Okay, we hit the quick render. It's nothing. So let's apply our material to our head model. Um, let's use. Uh, let's start with a very simple material type. We will use uh, final render advanced material. And um, in the diffuse channel, let's add a beam map. Let's. Let's use the let's see this yes. 
This is the default map export from Facebox. Let's do a quick render, see the result. Um, it is not bad. It is uh, actually very good. But there's a problem. Um, this um, this type of the image is the map is um, combining uh, the original Latin source from the photo, and uh, it's kind of like a baking material into the map. So we have to reverse this process. <coughs> we have to re re remove those specular from the map and uh, recreate the subsurface scattering from the map as you can see in as you can see in here this is the map generated by Facebox it's uh, upside down because the it just so the Facebox always exports map as upside down but as you can see, uh, this map containing this spectacular, and uh, you can see some reddish color. That is because the uh, normal human and human skin always showing some subscattering result. So that. <coughs> It's time for us to generate some of the map to create to help us to create realistic realistic model and skin material. So we need to create surface diffuse as you, you can see it's uh, basically the surface of our skin and uh, without any blood color so it's pretty white another map is uh, absorption map <coughs> also known as blood map uh, it's uh, underneath this surface skin surface and the color is totally red okay and another map which is very important to to me and uh, for those who want to create realistic human skin, you need this reflection map. You will, this map will make our skin uh, somewhat transparent and uh, more real. Another map is specular map. Um, I'm not doing it well, but. I think you, you can e emphasize um, the spectacular brightness around the uh, eyebrows and the nose. This map we have already created by Mobox. Bound map, this, this map will create adding detail to our head model. I use a cellular map to create this bound. Okay. So, so now it's time for us to do that in Photoshop. <coughs>